Well, hey everybody, today we're checking out a uh, new offering from Minimum Squared. Now, uh, I looked at them, I don't know, a year, a year ago, year and a half ago. Uh, same kind of design was their uh, first design, but it had the elastic on it and it was made out of goat skin. Then they sent me a couple of others which were a different design. Uh, so in total they've got three designs, now four designs. I don't have the others with me, I'm still in the Philippines. But this is one that uh, arrived while I was in Honolulu because it's a little tough to get things in the Philippines. But this is called their Slim Wallet and it's the same design as the uh, goatskin wallet that had the, that had the elastic band around it this way. This is the Slim Wallet and this is made out of a Horween Dublin. I believe it is. Now they do make them out of Chromexel, also a Horween Chromexel, um, which, which are, are really nice leathers. Uh, this I think is the Dublin. It's really thin, which it has to be uh, to fit as much in it as they say you can put in it. You can see now, now I've been actually been using this for a couple of days just to break it in with my stuff. Now it comes with these cards in the slots that tell you how many cards you can put in each slot. Now there's slots in the front like this and then there's slots on the inside also. And once again, it tells you the suggested number of cards for each slot. And you can see how big the cash area is. So it can certainly fit your bigger like Euro notes. Um, I've got my American stuff already in here, my cards that I would normally carry around. Um, let me take out these cards that uh, have the suggestions in them of how many cards to put in each pocket so I can give you a good idea of how the stuff really fits. Now I've got one card in this pocket and I've got one card in this inner pocket, two cards in this inside pocket here, and then I've got a couple of more cards in here on the inside. So this card has some raised lettering on it. This card is a credit card that has some raised lettering on it. I have the raised lettering turned backwards because the leather is really thin so it's kind of a good idea to not have your credit cards or your ATM cards imprinting on the outside of this leather. So uh, I always find it useful to turn them around the other direction. But you can see how thin this, this, this leather is real thin. Now I tried sticking the Philippine bills in here, the stack of 16 Philippine bills. This is not a wallet that is designed to hold 16 bills. Okay, this is six American bills. Now the Philippine bills are the same size, but it's really not designed to hold a whole lot of bills. It is, it, it, it can hold a few, six is about Six is really about the limit I could tolerate in it. Um, so when I fold it down, I'll show you here in a second, but you can see how nice the stitching is on it. Really a nice job of stitching and doing it in a good, in a good Horween leather, I think is a, is a great step forward. Now Minimum Squared is part of this artisan community in Valencia in Spain. And that's why it was so tough to get the wallet here in the Philippines because uh, shipping from Spain and using uh, Spanish uh, shippers and then shifting over to UPS or LBC is always, you know, the last time they sent me something, I had to go and uh, hunt it down in Makati myself. I finally got it, but I, but, I, but I had to go hunt it down myself. But they do a real nice job on this. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cards in it, six bills. Let's fold it up here. Now, the way you should do this and why I've been actually using it and breaking it down for a couple of days is you have to take this inner pocket. Since there is no elastic on this one, you have to take this inner piece, put it in the middle, and then fold this piece onto it like that. And it takes a couple of days to break this down. But you can see that it's not, while it's not a huge package, it can get thick pretty fast because you're stacking, you know, the leather on the cards on the cash. But luckily, the leather is just is just razor thin that they've uh, used here, so it does take some of the bulk out of it. Now, lots of times on these real minimalist wallets, 
what sometimes they fail to show you is the end on view like this. You know, it kind of gets glossed over real fast. Um, because you can see that I, you could put more in it, but it's going to get thicker. And uh, I personally don't, don't like that kind of thing. But this is doable even for me. And having used this for a couple of days now, well, not having used it, but having carried it around, um, I had to kind of smooth out this edge right here. So that's, that's nice and flat now, but it, it, took, it took a little bit of work to get it into the kind of shape that I wanted in to use it on a daily basis. Uh, so if I ever get back to the U.S., I'll certainly use this on a daily basis, but I just can't stick all the Philippine bills in here. And, and this is such a cash-intensive society that, there's, that there's, there's just no way to do it. I mean, I've got to carry the cash. But you can see that this, this will carry any size of the bigger notes that you have to carry around, regardless of the country you're in. And it will carry around, you know, it, it carries around a fair number of cards. So, you know, easily doable. And if you can tolerate a little bit more thickness than I can, this, this, this would be a good choice. Now, this is not one of your cheaper choices, okay? And that's, that's been brought up before. Um, you, this is not a discount wallet, okay? You're going to pay top dollar for this, but it's very nicely done. And I have noticed before that they've been sold out on certain thread and leather combinations, so uh, there is a demand for what they're offering. But you can see the pull-up going on here. Pull-up is when you take the fats and emollients in, say, a Chromexel, and to a, less, and to a lesser extent, a Dublin. And if you pull them tight, you, you can see that it pulls the fats thinner and it makes the leather lighter. So this has been I've, been, I've been working this around for a couple of days here, but I do like what they put out. There is really nothing else like it out there, but you know, keep in mind that it needs to be properly broken in and don't expect you know, too much out of it. Okay, but minimum square, they always do a nice job and uh, Thank you to them for finally hooking us up because um, they had to wait until I went to Honolulu for it to arrive. But I let them know ahead of time and they shipped it, you know, and I actually got it. So that was, uh, that was good of them to do that. Anyway, it smells good, passes the uh, Montelli sniff test. Real good leather. Now it doesn't, I, I'm pretty sure this is a Dublin. I, I don't think this is a Chromexel. It doesn't smell that rich. It is a really good smelling leather. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a Dublin because of its, of its uh, thinness. Anyway, uh, that is it. Cool little wallet. Check it out. I'll uh, stick the link down in the description box, and I will talk to you all again.